Hey guys, it's Nacelle. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to tune into this video. And if you are new, welcome. My name is Nacelle Nardo and I primarily film haul videos on my channel. I am starting to get back into couponing, so I am going to be introducing some videos on that segment as well. But I just basically do a variety of videos, but the focus is haul videos, specifically from Bath & Body Works. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead, do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel. I would sincerely appreciate it and I genuinely do love talking to you guys like interacting with you guys literally makes my day you have no idea and really quick actually I just want to say thank you to all of those who left comments on my previous video which was actually my first part to this Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale June 2018 haul if you guys missed it I'll go ahead and I'll leave a link to it down below in the information box or I will try to link it somewhere up here I am not technologically savvy so if I can't find a way to link it up here it will definitely be listed down below okay so I have a lot of stuff to show you guys like seriously a lot I have 10 candles as well as a lot of body care items I got a lot of stuff and to date this is by far the biggest haul that I've done from Bath & Body Works so y'all best believe that once this SAS is over like I'm done with Bath & Body Works until the fall season. So to start I am going to show you guys the hand soaps that I purchased. I actually placed an online order before the SAS started because the hand soaps were $6 for $18 or $3 a piece and that's the stock up price for me for Bath and Body Works hand soaps. I feel like $3 is the best bet that you can get and I also stacked that with a 20% off coupon so it ended up bringing them to about $2.40 and I knew that once the SAS started that some of the soaps were not necessarily going to be $3 like they wouldn't really be on sale during SAS so that's why I went ahead and I placed the order ahead of time. So I got Cucumber Melon which is a staple for me. This is a staple summer scent in my household so I always get this every single summer season. This next one is the You Shine Bright Strawberry Lemon and it looks like this. I actually really like the packaging. I think the packaging is really cute for the summertime. So this one, I actually haven't smelled these but I just have so much stuff to go through and I'm pretty sure you guys have gone to the sales and smelled these scents yourself so I don't really need to describe them for you but yeah so I just got this guy for the kitchen. This next one is an online exclusive, I believe, and this is a retired fragrance, but I haven't purchased the scent in so long, like so long. It's been several, several years, so I'm glad that I'm able to have it and smell it again, and that is Coconut Lime Verbena. I know, right? It's such an oldie, but a goodie. I remember this scent is so nostalgic for me because my second grade teacher, her favorite scent from Bath & Body Works was Coconut Lime Verbena. And at the time they had it as part of their signature collection. So it was in stores. So now I wanted to smell it again and I wanted to reminisce of my elementary school days. So that is what this is. This one I'm actually going to smell really quick because, oh my God. Just because, like I said, it's been so long since I smelled it and it just, it smells really good. This next hand soap also released new for this semi-annual sale and that is Oh Happy Day Pink Grapefruit Pop. The fragrance notes are tart grapefruit, juicy tangerine, and fizzy lemon. I know I didn't read you guys' scent notes on the others. I'm sorry. Like I said, I just want to go through these quickly because I don't want the video to be too, too long. But this one I was actually really excited to get because it's a grapefruit scent. I know they released Grapefruit Breeze in the body care, which I didn't pick up any in this haul. I'm waiting until that line goes 75% off. I'm hoping that they will still have it in stock. Like I went back to Bath & Body Works today with my best friend and I was debating on whether getting it just to get it and then I would get a price adjustment once it goes on sale because I don't want to risk that going out of stock. But I was like, you know what? Like I think, I think it will still be in stock. So we'll 
hopefully, fingers crossed. So I went ahead and I got this one because I've just been on a big grapefruit kick lately for some reason. So that is why I got this guy. So this was a good buy for me personally because if you guys watched my spring, one of my spring Bath & Body Works hauls, I hauled the cilantro peach hand soap and I said that that was my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works that they put out in hand soap for this year. So I still have the two in my stock. I haven't used any of them yet, but I wanted to make sure that I stocked up on it. So I did purchase two more and I just cannot get enough of this scent and Hubs loves this scent as well. So I really just wanted to stock up on it. And this scent just smells so good, so fresh, so clean, but not a fresh laundry type of scent. It's more of like a fruity fresh type of scent and it's so good like it's so good so I was really happy to get these for three dollars or two dollars and forty cents each because they are not part of the SAS so that's why I went ahead and I placed the order and my last hand soap for this haul is this guy right here and this is in lemon cucumber and the scent notes are fresh lemon crisp cucumber and ivy and it looks like this. I actually have the clementine and chamomile hand soap currently in the kitchen and it smells so good. So I went ahead and I got this one from the same collection and I'm also going to be putting this guy in the kitchen as well. I feel like all the hand soaps that I got are very citrusy which is not usual for me. It's really not typical because I'm somebody who generally doesn't like citrus scents. Like I really don't like lemon or um, orange or like any citrus. I just don't, I just don't like them, but I got a lot of citrus in this haul. So I don't know. I've just, I guess I've just been feeling it lately. So some random body care items that I managed to find, but I'm so, so glad that I found them. I got a snowy morning body cream. And this was a new scent that they released for this past winter season for 2017. And honestly, I love this scent so much and I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did. It just smells so good. It smells like a year round type of scent. So you can definitely get away with just wearing this year round and no one would know, like no one would think like, oh, that smells like a wintry type of smell. Like, no, this is a good, good scent. To me, it smells like a high-end perfume with like a touch of almost like a man's cologne type of scent to it, but it's not really like cologne if that makes any sense. So the fragrance notes are frosted bergamot, mistletoe berry, and snow-kissed lavender. So I hope that they come out with this scent again this year because I have too much body creams, body lotions, and I only have one mist, so my ratio is a little bit off. But nonetheless, I was really excited to find this. Another loose end that I managed to complete is the Peach Bellini Fragrance Mist. I was able able to get the body cream in this scent last summer's semi-annual sale but I couldn't find the fragrance mist so I was really happy because they only had the fragrance mist they didn't even have the body cream so I thought that was really cool so now I have the body cream from last year and now I have the matching fragrance mist and just in case I forgot to say it I'm pretty sure I didn't say it but these two were 75% off so this year, I actually fell in love with the At The Beach fragrance that Bath & Body Works puts out. I'm not sure if they have been putting out for the past couple years. I'm not sure if it's a new scent that was just released this year. I don't think it was new for this year. I think they've had it for maybe at least last year, but like I said, I don't remember off the top of my head. But nonetheless, I fell in love with the fragrance. I love that scent so much. So I was able to get the At The Beach Super Soft body butter. Now this guy was only 50% off. Like I said in my last video, I generally do not go to the 50% off bins as much as possible. I wait because eventually they do go to 75% off, but I just knew that this wasn't go going to go to 75% off. Like I have a feeling that it's just not going to. I don't know why. So I just went ahead and I got it. So it was $8.25, but of course with my coupons, it brought it down to a little bit cheaper. So maybe like six or $7. Another exciting find that I was able to get were these mango body butters. Now they, these were the only two left in the bin and I literally had to go digging 
through that bin to find these two because they had every single other body butter that came out in this particular collection except these two and I was like no 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 there has to be at least one mango body butter in there so I went digging and digging and finally at the very very bottom I found the last two and in my first spring 2018 Bath and Body Works haul video I mentioned that I purchased one of these and I loved it and I do love it the consistency of it is great it just feels so phenomenal on the skin and it smells amazing so I said that if these ever came out for SAS I would go ahead and I would stock up on them so I was only able to get two but hey that's two more than what I had and these guys were only half off but like I said I wasn't gonna risk not getting these especially since these were the last two that I could find they were seven dollars and 25 cents a piece but probably more of like five or six bucks with my discounts so not bad I don't like how small the product is though it is only like four ounces I think yeah it's only four ounces of product so they're really tiny but I got two of them and I, I just I just had to so sticking with the active line that everyone has been hauling stuff from because on the first day of the sale it did go 75% off in my last video I mentioned that all of well, majority of the products that I purchased from that collection were for Hubs because he's going to need them. And for sure, they had so much left in stock, so I went ahead and I got more things. I was able to find this Detox Rocks Activated Charcoal Body Scrub, and it looks like this. This one's actually going to be for me because I do like the Bath & Body Works body scrubs in general. Um, the one that I just finished up was the... It was part of the Coco Shea line in the Honey, the Honey one from last year. That one was really good. So I just finished that one up and I'm just starting to use the Coffee Bean Body Scrub from the same collection as this one right here. So I'm currently using that one right now in the shower and again, I really like it. And since this guy was 75% off, I was like, why not? And it's a charcoal body scrub which I have never tried before, so I'm really excited to use this. In my last haul video, I hauled one of the uh, Fresh in a Flash Body Refresher and Yoga Matte Mists. I had hubs, like I showed him what I purchased him, and he said he would definitely be using them, so I went ahead and I got three more bottles for him, and like I said, like he's just, he needs these items, so, and they were 75% off, so these guys ended up being like $2.50. I went ahead and I just stocked up on them. I also got him three more of the shower in a bottle no rinse body cleansing foams these are gonna come in handy especially because these are actually like meant to replace showers if you will whereas the other ones were just like an overall body mist and so I went ahead and I got three of these the other one is in one of these bags because these are what I got today from the sale these were what I got like another trip several days ago so I got three of them but these are two of the three I also got him one more of the fresh towelettes these are the body cleansing towelettes and again you get 12 sheets in here so the rest of the stuff in this huge bag that I just hauled everything from is actually a candle crate of six candles but I'm gonna wait to do my candles until the very very end so I'm gonna delve into this bag right here because I do have some more body care products in here so let's dive in so like I said I did purchase one more for him so I have three of these see I have three of them that I hauled so now he has four he is going to be a happy hubby and if he is not then then I will be very upset <laughs> okay so I actually needed to get more cucumber melon because I used cucumber melon just yesterday and I realized as I was going through my collection, which side note, I know a lot of you guys have been requesting a Bath and Body Works collection and storage video, and I do plan on doing one as soon as I'm done hauling what I need to haul from the semi-annual sale, I will be doing one. So subscribe and stay tuned for that. But I was looking at my collection and I realized that I didn't have a backup of anything in Cucumber Melon. I only had the one fine fragrance mist and the one body lotion. And I was like, why don't I have a backup? 
up. And I know that they bring this scent out every SAS, so I really don't need to stock up on it per se, but I just wanted to get a backup, even if it's just one more. So I went ahead and I got a body cream and then I got a backup of the fine fragrance mist this next scent I really wasn't expecting to purchase like I knew it went 75% off just the other day but at first like when I smelled it in the store when this collection premiered I just wasn't impressed with anything from it but then I smelled it again and then again for 75% off I was like you know what like I like it enough to get it for that price point and that is the aqua marine scent from the mineral collection so this one says aquamarine inspired by the deep sea fragrance notes are ocean water mint leaf and wet stone so this one it does smell good it does smell good I'm not gonna lie I definitely get that ocean water type of scent but it doesn't smell like the beach it doesn't have coconut like it doesn't smell like suntan lotion not that type of water this one is more of just like a refreshing type of water smell definitely definitely just very very refreshing I feel like this would be such a perfect scent to have in a shower gel and even just something to put on right after you shower so that's why I got it I went ahead and I got the fragrance mist and the body cream I'm not a fan of how small these fragrance mists are this was only this is only six ounces and typically the fragrance mists are eight ounces I think right yeah they're eight ounces so this one's only six I don't like that. This wasn't on sale, but I did need another wallflower unit because I pretty much am using currently all of the units that I own and I typically like to have a backup. So I went ahead and I just got a plain white one. These are $4.50. Like I said, it's not on sale, but it's this is something that I needed. I also got the face sheet masks in Cool as a Cucumber. I've never tried their face masks before. When I first saw that they started to carry face masks, I was like, what? <laughs> like I was really, really shocked. So I don't know, I just never tried them until now. And the only reason why I got these two was that I needed to get to the $25. And so I just needed to get filler items. And these guys are currently on sale for $1.50 which is a good price for face masks if I'm being honest so I'm really excited to try these out like I'm really excited to try these out so hopefully they're good I'll let you guys know what I think about them in an empties video so the last thing in this bag and then the other stuff in this bag are actually candles so let me just unwrap everything and let's get started with the candles so I'm filming this on Sunday night which happens to be the last day of the $10.50 candle sale for the previous years they've always been $10 but of course inevitably they up the price they increase the price on everything so this year it's $10.50 Eh, not too excited about it, but what can you do? So since today was the last day of the sale, I had a um, a bounce back coupon for 10 off of 40 that actually can be used throughout the sale, unlike the email coupons, because for this sale, the email coupons are, or the email coupon rather, is 20% off of 25, but you save more with the 10 off of 40 if you decided to do the candle purchase for like let's say if you did four candles in a transaction it brings them down to like seven to eight dollars a piece which is amazing so I actually did that for this transaction that's why I purchased four candles separately from the items that I pulled out of the other bag first and then the other candles which are in this candle crate on the floor right now which I'll show you in a little bit these guys were just half off um, $12.25 and yeah, I don't have an excuse for that. I'm desperately low on candles, so I did say that I was waiting for the SAS to stock up. So this first candle that I got is just in the peach scent. It has very similar packaging to the peach cilantro hand soap, which I love. Look how these two tie together. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Can you imagine just having this like on your kitchen counter and then also in your kitchen burning this candle and you have like a black theme going on? Oh my gosh so pretty <laughs> but yeah you guys know peach is one of my favorite spring and summer scents so when i saw that they had just a straight up peach candle i was like yes 
please that is mine so i was actually really intrigued because these guys are wider than the typical three wick candles so this is their typical three wick candle and this is i guess a newer style that they're trying out if it has a wider rim right here that means it has a wider scent throw and it smells amazing just because i have quite a few candles to show you guys i'm not going to be sniffing each one and telling you guys what i think it smells like i'm actually just going to be reading you guys the scent notes quickly giving them a sniff but i'm going to be saving my reviews for my empties videos because I am gonna start filming empties videos. So again, if that's something that you're interested in, definitely stay tuned for that. So this next candle that I have here is in Coconut Leaves. And this candle has the beautiful marble packaging to it, but my goodness, this smells amazing. So the fragrance notes are coconut husk, tangerine, zest, and palm leaves so good this one needs not further explanation and that is watermelon lemonade and I love this packaging it is so pretty so floral so nice for spring and summer oh my goodness so pretty and like I said it's watermelon lemonade I really don't need to spend much time discussing this with you guys because everyone loves this scent and yeah so I went ahead and I got this one but oh my goodness Oh my goodness, talk about amazing packaging. <sighs> this one. This one is in Honeysuckle and Freesia. I hauled this in a mini tester candle in my last video, which I'm actually currently burning right now, the exact tester candle, and I love it. So when I saw this there, in this beautiful packaging, look at that, oh my goodness gracious. Huh. This was part of their I think like their spring garden collection. I know this premiered like somewhere around Mother's Day. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. And it just looks amazing. Like with the black lid too, I am living. So this big bag, like I said earlier, has the candle crate of six candles. I can't take out the crate to show you guys because it's so heavy, but I can give you a little sneaky peekies. <laughs> So this first candle that I'm pulling out is in Happy Easter Cotton Candy Marshmallow. And it looks like this. I don't even care if it has a Happy Easter label on it. I, I really don't. I'm after the scent. And I wasn't expecting to like this scent because I'm not a huge fan of extremely sweet gourmand type of scents. But this one smells really, really, really good and I cannot wait to burn this one. I might actually wait until next year to burn this, like next year, the beginning of springtime, but the scent notes are, well, it just says celebrate spring with a sweet blend of sparkling cotton candy, raspberries, and fresh sugared cream. And this is an older candle because the retail price is $22.50, so this guy was actually $11.25 instead of $12.25. So yeah, oh my gosh, it smells so good. This next candle I was really excited to find. This one is in Iced Vanilla Woods and it looks like this. It's part of the White Barn Core collection. And this guy, even though it was placed on a regular table where all the other three wick candles are, this guy ended up being 75% off which I thought was an amazing find because I wasn't expecting it to be 75% off. I didn't realize until I saw the receipt where it was only like $4 and some change with my coupon. But it smells really, really nice. This is definitely a candle that I'm gonna be burning in the fall and winter season, but it smells so good. Like when I smell this, I cannot wait for fall and winter to get here. I know we're just starting summer, but I'm a fall baby and fall and winter, like that's just my time of year. So this just makes me so excited. It says, enjoy a peaceful holiday with this soothing blend of sweet vanilla, smoldering woods and iced lavender. And again, this one was $22.50. So, well, it was 75% off. So it was only like $4 and some change. This next candle, oh my gosh, again, do you see this packaging? Do you see this label? It is beautiful. Oh my goodness, beautiful. And the scent is also beautiful because the scent is in Peach Bellini. And it looks like this. Oh, no need further explanation. Peach Bellini, you guys know it's an amazing scent. 
oh my goodness so good so good like delicious so that's peach bellini dun dun dun, dun. so as part of the new candles that released just for sas or i want to say i don't know if they were released um exclusively for sas i think they were but i finally got my hands on the much talked about banana split milkshake i only got one <sighs> And I don't know why. <laughs> it literally smells so delicious. Like, I know everyone says that they love this scent. Or a majority of people do. I know, of course, like some people don't really like it because they think the banana smells too candy-like. But I love it. I love it. I really do. I definitely get a creamy banana vanilla type of scent. And just like a touch of chocolate. It smells so good. So I was hoping that I was able to get more of this. But when I went to the Bath and Body Works in my mall, they didn't have the scent anymore. So I might have to go to a different location to get this. Because if I can just get at least one more, I'll be okay. This next candle is part of their Destinations collection. I don't know. I'm not familiar with the candle collections that Bath and Body Works puts out. So this one is in Costa Rica and the scent is Rainforest Passion Fruit. And it looks like this. I really love the picture. It's really pretty. And the scent notes are lush passion fruit, juicy pineapple, and white coconut. Again, I wasn't expecting to like this because I don't like citrus. I don't like pineapple, especially pineapple I don't like. Like, I don't like to eat pineapple. And the pineapple note is really prominent in this candle, so that's why I'm so curious as to why I like it so much. But I do, and I think it's because with the passion fruit being mixed in here as well, I think like that's why I'm tolerating it because I do smell passion fruit more so than pineapple and maybe just like a hint of coconut. So I'm really excited to be burning this guy. And the last candle that I have and the last item for this haul, whoops, I just shook my tripod, is the blueberry sugar candle. I know a lot of people were trying to get this candle online, but it's sold out really quickly, so I've heard. So when I saw this in the store, I was so excited to get it. And the scent notes are sweet blueberries, brown sugar, graham cracker, crust. Pretty simple. But it does smell really good. It smells really delicious. <sighs> so good. And that is what the label looks like really pretty and really simple and i love the wax color too really pretty so that concludes part two to my june 2018 semi-annual sale from bath and body works there will probably actually i'm not even gonna say probably there will undoubtedly be a part three my wallet is crying <laughs> i know it is but i'm just waiting until more body care items appear in the 75 percent off bins i am good with candles i am done i have 10 candles here to hold me over until they release their fall candles which i can't even believe i'm mentioning because summer is just starting thank you all again so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video i'm so sorry if this ends up being a long one i just I got a lot of stuff, like I did, I got a lot of stuff, but I'm very happy with everything that I purchased. I'm very blessed with everything that I purchased. Stay tuned for my Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale haul. I will be filming that soon and that will be up shortly. So just sit tight for that. Subscribe if you haven't already so that you're notified when that video also goes up. Please let me know down in the comments below what your favorite scent was that you picked up for this SAS. I love you guys to the moon and back. I'm gonna go ahead and go and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Peace.